Hello, Malcolm. Yes, love, George. Oh, I'm fine, thank you. Listen, you still into Welsh dresses? Yeah, yeah, well, I've got a lovely one. Yeah, it's got a lovely look to it, this one. 18th century, Ford door. What am I looking for? Well, I've got about two and a half now. Don't force it, you pillock. You might scratch the wood. There's something stopping it. It's just one of my labors about to ruin something. No, I can't let it go for less than two, and I'm giving it away, don't I? Tell you what, you come down, have a look at it. I'll bring your checkbook. Have you marked it? I haven't touched it. Feels like some chain or something. Yeah. All that's needed is a little subtlety at times. Hmm? Love joy. Why? Love joy. What is it? Oh, that's amazing, Eric. It's real bloody cold. What is it? It's an Arab wedding headdress. What's it worth? I don't know what it's worth. Well, is it valuable? Was the Pope Polish? Get the book. Which book? Friedberg's Gold Coins of the World. Look under Italy, Venice. Ludov Manin Ducks. These are zucchini, Eric. I thought that was spaghetti. Venetian two ducat pieces. Ah, Louis Manin, Doge of Venice, 1789 to 1797. Two ducat pieces, $2,250. Twelve of them are two thousand two hundred and fifty dollars. That's twenty-seven thousand dollars. We've cracked it, Eric. We've cracked it. We've actually cracked it. <laughs> it's Gimbert. Act normal. I am acting normal. Hard at it, eh? Oh, yes, just trying to earn an honest crust, you know. What brings you here? Oh, the drains. Brought your sniffer dogs, have you? I'm here under a flag of truce, as a matter of fact, Lovejoy. Ha <laughs> ha, bloody ha. Oh, look, I come straight to the point. A terrible mistake has been made, and I'll be the first to admit it. Yes, well, 400 pounds for a clock with half of its insides missing is a bit much. I grant you that. Not the clock, the dresser. What about it? I want a paper from you. What? I'd like to buy it back. Can't. Why not? Sold. What do you mean it's sold? It's still here. It was a telephone deal. Von Dido, Von Du. That's it, I'm afraid. Look, Lovejoy, I'll give you the auction price plus another 50 on top. Now, how about that? 400? You must be joking. I sold it for a grand. A grand? Look, the thing is, it shouldn't have appeared in the sale in the first place. Ah. Look, all right, all right. Cock up on our part, call it what you will. But, but you have to buy it back at any price. That's the general idea. But I have no intention of crawling for it, if that's what you think. Tell you what. This may generate a pint or two of bad blood amongst the Brotherhood, but let's go for it, eh? Let's call the dresser. Four hundred. Well, it's exactly what I had in mind. No, 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 I haven't finished yet. Little VAT, perhaps. No VAT. I still owe you four hundred for the clock, right? That's right. That's around eight hundred in all. Mm hmm. You give me four hundred. You can take the dresser with you. That's eight hundred quid. That's robbery with violence, Lovejoy. Take it or leave it. One of these days, Lovejoy. <laughs> What no, are you no, doing? don't open your eyes. Don't, don't. Shh, take your hands away. Keep your eyes closed. All right, now. Oh, love, Joy. It's beautiful. I knew it would suit you. What is it? It's an Arab wedding headdress. It's part of the dowry. These, these pieces at the front, these are all solid gold. But Alexander never gave you one of those when he waltzed you down the aisle, did he? Why on earth did you get it 
from. It isn't stolen, is it? Do we have to bring mistrust and suspicion into this? I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. What I meant was... I know what you meant. Is it yours? Well, legally speaking, that's a bit of a grey area, but um, let's just say yes. Shall we? Hmm? You are going to sell it. Of course I'm going to sell it. Well, I'm going to London. That's where you come in. Oh, I do, do I? Yes, I thought that I'd um, take you away from all this toil and drudgery for a few days. And, uh... and what? Well, I thought we'd start with a little romantic music and then a few candlelit suppers and then do whatever it is that grown-up men and women do when they're together. We've been through all this before. I can't come, you know that. What's the point of being married to a man who's never here? What does he do? Apart from keep you in cashmere sweaters and handmade shoes. I don't think that's any concern of yours. I know, but diplomacy was never my strong suit, Jane. You will never know what you missed, and you only get one crack of the title. I'm sure you'll tell me all about it when you get back. I'm sure I will. Where do you want it? Right here. Sign here, please. 